Season been going great. It kicked off really well at the IWF World Relays, where we got first and I let off uh, well there. From that point on, you know, my whole focus was do well at USA's and make it to the world and do well here. So I've been consistently, you know, 44 mid to 44, um, 44 low or high. So my goal now is take that consistency and try to push it down to a little bit 44 low. So hopefully we come out with a, uh, a medal. Honestly, this year in the 400, it's really competitive. Um, at this point, anybody can step up and, and grab a medal. You know, uh, we saw that Karani can take a loss, the Sean can take a loss. So at this point, there's a lot of new faces mixed with a lot of old faces and it's a lot of clashing. So at this point, anybody can do it, especially uh, Wade Van Eekirk, he's having a great season. So anybody's game at this point. Since last September, I've been practicing, practicing, practicing. So, so now it's just about getting your mind met mentally ready. Um, at this point, I can't do anything else on the track to get ready. So it's all mental, focusing about my race plan, what I'm gonna do, execution. So now it's gonna come down to who's mentally strongest, because we're all fit. So now it's just who wants it more. My finish has been really strong for me. Um, I'm not always the quickest guy out the blocks. I can get out well, but I would say I really, you really see uh, the gap close the last 50. So now I have to work on running the turn a lot harder and just trying to, you know, not leave so much left for the end. So I always, you know, either make up ground or stay even, but now I need to be with them coming off the turn so I can finish a little stronger. I practice in lane one. I pray I don't get that this week. But um, I love the outside lanes. I love six and seven just because I don't like seeing people because like you said, when you see people, you know, you see what they get out too hard, you start running off them. So if I could pick a lane, I would pick six or seven so I could just get out there and run my own race. Welcome to the 2015 World Championships here in Beijing, China. Welcome to this beautiful stadium. Championships and uh, what a hosting town Sopot has been just uh, 15 minutes or so away from the huge metropolis of Gdansk. There's the uh, world record by the USA 302 back back in 99. The world lead this winter by the Texas A&M University team 303.3. That might well go here because the Americans have a very strong squad. And if I tell you that the Americans have won this title on the last uh, on uh, three occasions 2006, 2008, 2010, and uh, they're the defending champions. Indeed, the last four occasions, you'll understand why they start as favourites here, particularly as they have Kyle Clemens on the first leg, the individual bronze medalist, and Verberg, who was the individual fourth placer at 400 metres on the second leg. Those are after the long, long delays that we experienced before the women's 4x400, half an hour or so ago. Remember that uh, women's race was won very, very impressively by the uh, Americans. Nobody could get near them, frankly. Jamaica taking the silver. Great Britain, the bronze. The final event, then, of these championships. Poland in one, Ukraine in two, Jamaica three, Russia four, Great Britain in lane five, and the USA in lane six. That British quartet, Williams, Bowie, Lennon Ford, and Levine. Away they go. Conrad Williams with that headband, second to left, as we see that picture streaming down the back straight. He's already up, and Kyle Clemens, he's gone up hard, has uh, Conrad Williams. The Jamaicans going well too in lane three with Aaron no Errol Nolan. They break from lanes there, and it's still uh, it's Great Britain in the lead. Conrad Williams won, running wonderfully. Britain have never won this event though, not indoors. They've beaten the USA outdoors, remember, famously in Tokyo and back in 1991. But it's Conrad Williams on his shoulder, Clemens a meter down. The Jamaicans in third place. A little gap back to Poland in fourth. The Russians struggling a bit in fifth with Ukraine bringing up the rear. But this has been a fabulous leg from Conrad Williams. He's going to hand over in the lead, but not by much. Jamie Bowie taking over the bat. He's a man in form as well. Very impressive in the qualification. He had a terrific 2013, did Jamie Bowie. But he's been run down by David Verberg. The trademark dreadlocks, who's cruised past Bowie and into the lead for the USA. Well, I think uh, David Bowie's, Jamie Bowie's Bow done the right thing there. David Barry. Ashes Jamie to ashes. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Verberg has blasted down the back straight. I'll be really surprised if Verberg can last well this second lap. Although the Jamaicans have closed up now. Poland not far behind in fourth. Tall figure of the pole on this uh, second leg is Rafael Omelko. And Barry running really well. Verberg is holding on well so far. Remember, he was fourth in the individual 400 metres. The lock's flowing. Barry just beginning to tie up a little bit. But they and over Great Britain in second place, about two metres up on Jamaica in third. The USA out in front. For the USA on this one is Kyne Butler the third. How fitting because this is leg three. But they're up one behind the other, these leading teams. These first four teams. USA, Great Britain, Jamaica, Poland, some way down, Russia and Ukraine having their own little battle. On this third leg for Great Britain, Luke Lennon Ford goes through. The USA with Kyne Butler still in the lead, but Jamaica and Poland breathing down their necks.
It's anybody's race, isn't it? Fourth and three. And USA leading the way. Luke Lennon Ford not panicking. Jamaica looking very ominous in third. Just opening a gap on the Polish team. They're falling adrift behind. And maybe the medals are being decided before we head to the final leg. Final leg then for the USA is Calvin Smith Jr. He's got about a four metre lead over Great Britain's uh, Nigel Levine on this uh, final leg. Jamaica has gone off hard. Adino Steele challenging Nigel Levine. Levine accelerating going into that first second bend to hold the Jamaicans at bay. But they're closing up on the USA, that's for sure. Calvin Smith leads. 200 metres to run. The USA with about three metres. Smith surely has run conservatively that first lap. So he'd be able to kick hard down the back straight. Levine pushing on, trying to hold second place. They're going to get a medal, Great Britain, here, Baron disaster. Poland in fourth place are well detached now. Jamaica in third place, trying to come back at Great Britain. The USA are going to take it. Yet more gold for the USA. Great Britain with the Levine, hanging on for, for silver. What a great run. Jamaica having the bronze medals there through Dino steel. And uh, in fourth place, Poland. In fifth, Russia. Ukraine is expected bringing up the rear. But the USA couldn't let go, could they? They really couldn't relax. They were pushed all the way by the Brits and the Jamaicans. Really fabulous battle between the second and third places. The USA eventually coming home in a time of, uh, uh, what, 3.02.13. It's a world record. Oh, my word. I didn't even notice that in all the excitement. A world in the record. They've only just seen it. What a way to finish here in Poland, and what a way to say thank you to Sopot for a fabulous three days of uh, hospitality and fabulous hosting. A world record for that USA squad of Clemens, Verberg, Kane Butler III, and Calvin Smith, like his dad, now world record holder.